Hello everyone, this is Saurabh from Eddie Reka. Today we will learn how to install Git on a Cent OS machine. But before we go ahead, we need to install the software that Git depends on. These dependencies are all available in default CentOS repository. So let us proceed with that. I'll type sudo yum group install development tools and here we go it is asking for password press y in the meantime, let me tell you about the development tools. It is a predefined bundle of software that can be installed at once instead of having to install each application separately. The development tools will allow you to build and compile software from source code. So it is done now. Let us clear our terminal. And now I'm going to proceed with the second command. And here we go. It is asking for password. Press Y. Let us clear our terminal. So now we are done with the prerequisites so we can proceed towards git installation. To install git there is a command sudo yum install git but this command will install git version 1.7 by default but there are newer versions of git available so I am going to install those newer versions. For that I will use wgit command so let us first install wgit tool sudo yum install wgit. And here we go. Now press Y. So we have successfully installed wget tool. Let me clear my terminal. Now I'm going to use this wget command to download a specific version of Git. All right. So I have to first copy the link of the version of Git that I want to install. So let me show you where I'll get that link. I've already opened it in my browser you can see you can use this particular link and I will use git 2.7.2 .2. this version I'm going to use you can select any version that you want alright so just right click copy the link location go back to the terminal and just paste it here we go so it is done now let me show you where it is downloaded in my machine here it is git 2.7.2 tar.gz let us go back to the terminal now now once the download is complete we will extract the file from the downloaded git tar file for that we will use tar command let me first clear the terminal now I'll type the command tar hyphen zxf git to tar.gz and here we go so now let me show you the extracted file here it is git 2.7.2 the extracted file now we'll go back to the terminal and let us change the directory to git so for that I'll type change directory git hyphen 2.7.2 and here we go since we are in the source folder now now we can begin the source build process alright so for that I'm going to use a command called make configure 
let me clear my terminal and now I'm going to type the second command and here we go this configure script is responsible for getting ready to build the software on your specific system it makes sure all the dependencies for the rest of the build and install process are available so let me clear my terminal now so now that the software is built and ready to run the files can be copied to their final destination for that I'll use a command sudo make install here we go this make install command will copy the build program and its libraries and documentation to the correct location. let me clear the terminal now to check the version of git that we have installed we'll use a command git hyphen hyphen version here we go so it is the correct version that is 2.7.2 .2. now before we go ahead we need to submit some information about ourselves so that commit messages will be generated with the correct information attached we need to provide name and email address that we would like to have embedded into our commits for that we will use the command that I'll type let me first clear it it is git config hyphen hyphen global user dot name and your name here we go for the email ID I'll type git config hyphen hyphen global user dot email and your email ID here we go now to confirm that these configurations are added successfully I'll use a command git config hyphen hyphen list so username is Saurabh and email ID is Saurabh at the rate at which is absolutely uh, which is absolutely correct all right so now what we need to do is we need to generate a SSH key SSH is a secure protocol used as a primary means of connecting to Linux servers remotely all right so let me first clear my terminal now I'm going to type the command to generate the SSH key which is SSH hyphen keygen hyphen T RSA hyphen B4096 hyphen C and your email address here we go enter file in which to save the key so if I just press enter it will it'll go to the default location so let us do that enter passphrase so if I want it to be empty so I'll just press enter enter the same passphrase again so now we have generated the SSH key now there's a program called SSH agent that runs the duration of a local login session stores unencrypted keys in memory and communicates with SSH clients using a Unix domain socket so it is very important to ensure that this SSH agent is enabled so let us enable it here we go so we have done that successfully now we need to add this SSH key to the SSH agent so let's proceed with that Here we go so we have done that successfully now we need to add this SSH key to our github account all right so for that I'll use this cat command this cat command will actually read the key and it will display it on the terminal so let me show you so this is the SSH key that I was talking about so now what we need to do is we need to just copy this SSH key and we need to go to the official github website so let us google github 
I will go to their official website. Over here I need to sign in first. So I'll use my login credentials. After this what you need to do is you need to go to settings over here. Click on settings. And on the left hand side there is an option called SSH and GPG keys. Just click on it and you can see there is an option where my cursor is pointing new SSH key. Let us click on it and we need to add a title over here. So you can type any uh, title you want. I will just type edureka and over here I will paste the key that I have copied from my terminal. Finally we need to add this SSH key so I will just proceed with that. Let us see what happens now. As you can see the key has been created but now what we need to do is we need to test this key. For that I will go back to my terminal. Let me clear it first. Now to test this SSH key we will use a command SSH hyphen capital T git at the rate github.com. Here we go. Press yes. So now let us go back to the website and see what change has happened. Just refresh this link. As you can see the color of this key has changed to green. That means we have successfully tested the SSH key. Now we'll look at some of the most commonly used operations performed on Git. That is push and pull operation. Let me first clear my terminal. For that I'll first create a folder and I will name it as Git hyphen repo. You can name it anything that you want and I'll keep it empty. I'll go back to my terminal and uh, I'll change my directory to that git repo. Here we go. So now I have entered the git repo directory. Now I need to initialize it first. So for that I'll use the command git init. So it has been initialized successfully. Now to allow github to hold our files we need a command git remote add origin. Let me first clear my terminal. Now to allow github to hold our files we need a command that I'll just type git remote add origin and the SSH link. Let me show you from where you'll get this SSH link. First we need to create a repository. So here's an option called new repository. We'll go there. We'll give a repository name. I'll just name it as edureka-01. And I'll initialize this repository with a readme and finally create a repository. You can add a description as well if you want. Over here you can see that edureka01 repository has been created with a readme file in it. The SSH link that I was talking about you can find it from here clone or download just click on it. Here is a link just copy go back to the terminal and just paste it here. And here we go. So now we'll perform the pull operation. All right. So when we have successfully performed the pull operation, this readb file over here will be copied to our git repository, the local git repository. But I want to add this thing when you're doing it for the first time, you need to always pull files from the GitHub account to your local git repository and then you can proceed towards pushing your files from git repository to the GitHub account. I hope I'm clear. So let us now perform the git pull operation. So I'll type the command for it git pull origin master. Here we go. Now let us go to git repo and see whether the readme file is there or not. As you can see we have successfully performed the pull operation. The readme file is present over here. Now we need to perform the push operation. For that I'll go back to the terminal. And what I need to do is I need to create a file in this git repo. All right. And uh, I can just uh, name it as edureka. And I will write here welcome to edureka. Save it. Close it. And go back to the terminal. Now over here we need to add this file that I've just created. That is edureka. So for that we have a command git add and the file name which is edureka in this case. Here we go. 
So now what we need to do is we need to commit changes. So for that I'll use the command git commit hyphen m and the message you want uh, to display. I'll just type first commit. Here we go. So let me clear my terminal now. Now we'll perform the push operation. So when we have successfully performed the pull operation, this edureka file will appear in the GitHub uh, account which I have created over here. So it will be present here. So let us see if that happens or not. So we'll type the command for it git push origin master. Here we go. So let us go to my GitHub account and check whether it has been added or not. I'll refresh this link. As you can see edureka file has been added over here and this is what I actually wrote welcome to edureka. So now we have successfully performed push as well as pull operation. Thank you for watching this video. You can comment your queries and questions. Do subscribe to our edureka channel to learn more. Thank you and happy learning.